Canada's latest PCR requirements, and vaccine updates. In today's video update, we will talk about the good news announced by the Canadian government for Canadian travelers who are planning short trips. All passengers coming to Canada, regardless of vaccination status, have been obligated to provide proof of a molecular COVID-19 test taken within 72 hours of crossing the land border, Oregon getting on a flight. The government of Canada announced many new rules at the border that has started to take effect from the end of last month. Furthermore, the government of Canada will also be lifting the PCR test obligation for fully vaccinated Canadian and permanent residents coming back to Canada after short trips from November 30th. This denotes that, as soon as this re-entry obligation comes into effect, travelers who are returning to Canada inside 72 hours of their departure will no longer be obligated to show proof of a negative COVID-19 test. Please keep in mind that, these tests can cost anywhere between $150 to $300. Antigen tests, which normally only cost $40 to $60, are not acknowledged for entry in Canada. This is a great news for Canadian passengers who plan to go to the US to do holiday shopping. Any trips over 72 hours outside of Canada will still require a negative PCR test upon return, and it does not apply to the US or other international passengers coming to Canada. Now let's discuss about the test obligated for Americans crossing the border. It is noted that Canada reopened its borders in October 2021 to non-essential international travelers who have got both doses of a Health Canada authorized COVID-19 vaccine. In the meantime, completely vaccinated Americans have been authorized to cross the land border into Canada since August 2021 with specific entry requirements. Dr. Teresa Tam, Canada's chief public health officer stated that the federal government is taking a phased approach when it is about allowing completely vaccinated tourists into Canada without a negative molecular test. Tam further mentioned that allowing Canadian travelers first to re-enter without the PCR test on small journeys will assist mitigate the risk of amplified COVID-19 cases coming from outside Canada. Lastly, she mentioned that public health authorities can keep better record of Canadian citizens and permanent residents upon their return to Canada than U.S. visitors. On the other hand, Americans may soon be able to cross the border without the testing obligations. Lastly, let's talk about Canada recognizing more COVID vaccines. Along with the modification in re-entry testing, the federal government stated that passengers who have attained the Sinopharm, Sinovac, and Covaxin COVID-19 vaccines will be deemed completely vaccinated for travel purposes from November 30, 2021. Fully vaccinated passengers can come to Canada with a pre-entry molecular COVID-19 test result for all passengers 5 years of age or older. Please keep in mind that antigen tests are not accepted. Our video ends here. If you found this video update useful, then please comment below and share your opinion with us. Thanks for watching today's update.